Great 10 Varsity, I'm Bethany Bowman, joined here today by running back at Fort Osage High School, River Peppers, going to be a junior this fall. Thank you so much for joining us and excited about the season. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Last season, River, a great year, you know, a year that uh, was almost as good as your name, River Peppers, but <laughs> 134 rushing yards with 21 touchdowns. You also added 480 receiving yards and seven scores. Now going into your junior year, after such a big year like that, what are some expectations and goals for you? So I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to basically do the same thing, just get more, get more yards and more touchdowns and stuff. So, yeah. Your freshman year, I think it's just over 300 yards for you. A big jump from freshman to sophomore season. Obviously, you know, you got some more opportunities. You became, you know, a bigger player, a bigger role for your team. What was that jump like, and what really helped you in that transition during that year? Uh, yeah, my freshman year, I had two seniors in front of me. So I kind of just it was like a sponge, and I just soaked up everything that they taught me. So it kind of helped me during my sophomore season. So I'm really glad I got to have them there with me, too. So This coming year, you guys will be looking for a new guy to step in at quarterback after losing a really good one, a, a senior that graduated. You know, talk about maybe some guys that look like they have the potential or what's the quarterback situation looking like right now for the Indians? Um, So we kind of have two guys having a position battle right now, but they're kind of just trading reps at practice. And, yeah, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. What do you look for and what do you like in a quarterback being in the backfield with that guy as a running back? Uh, I like somebody – who could just like be a leader and just lead the team and uh, make make good uh, make good throws and yeah. The Indians over the past two seasons of your high school career have made deep playoff runs. Last season, Class Five runner-ups made it to the championship game. Your freshman season made it to the Class Five semifinals where you fell there. But two incredible years where you got to go far into the playoffs. How does that help you now as a junior with some playoff experience, you and some other guys that return having been there? Yeah, I feel like it kind of gives us more confidence and uh, basically like we can do it again. So, What will it take to get over that hump and win a state championship? <laughs> um, we're all going to have to play as a team and, and uh, play together as one. I feel like we didn't really do that last year. Tell me about some other key guys returning around you that might help that, uh, you know, be possible this season. Uh, well, we basically kind of lost everybody on the offensive side, but we do have a, a returning lineman who's actually really – two actually returning linemen who are actually really good. And uh, one of them I feel like they're not having a really big season this year. And uh, on the defensive side, we uh, bring back Anthony Thompson. I'm sure, you know. But, yeah, he's going to have a really big year this year, I feel like. And – um yeah. Anthony Thompson, like you mentioned, another guy right there with you in the class of 2025, said he's a big returner on the defensive side. Last year, he led with 76 tackles. You know, describe yeah. him as a player and what makes him so effective at that position. Um, he's just like a really sneaky guy. I feel like he can just like literally be anywhere on the field. Even at practice, it's kind of crazy. Like he comes tackling me from the back side of the play. It's just he's going to be really good this year. I'm excited for him. So. Is there any game that you're really excited about this season? One that's, uh, you know, a rivalry game, I guess, or, or maybe for you guys personally, just uh, always a great game. Uh, definitely week one against Grand Valley. It's going to be, it's going to be a really good game. So we beat them, I think like the past four times, but it's still, I think going to be our new rivalry. So. Mm -hmm. What is the goal going into week one? I think every team obviously is still working out some kinks, you know, new team for everybody with losing some guys and, changing things around. What is the mindset heading into week one? Um, kind of just, just get the job done, basically. Just get the win and come out with a win, and then we can look at the film and correct our mistakes and whatever we did. Whatever we did wrong, we can just correct it and get better at practice and stuff. For you as a player, you know, for 1,600-plus yards and 20-plus touchdowns last year, that doesn't just come easy. How would you say you're so effective on the ground? Uh, I've watched a lot of film, but also I, I look up to different guys and watch other guys. So I feel like that helps a lot too. Um, yeah. Okay. How long have you been playing football? Uh, my whole life, ever since I was five. Yeah. Always been a running back? 
Uh, yeah, I've always been a running back. Well, I played some defense. I also was a safety, but mainly been running back. Okay. All right. I'm sure you were that little kid dodging all the, <laughs> the flag football tackles, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody that you really look up to, whether it be in football and life, you know, who's kind of your role model? Uh, I mean, obviously, I look up to Skylar Thompson. You know, he came through Fort Hill Sage, so I, I look up to him. Okay. Yeah, obviously, a quarterback, not a running back. But yeah. um, have you got the, gotten the chance to, you know, either talk with Skylar, maybe be at some camps or on the field with Skylar? What has that been like? Oh, yeah. I, I'm best friend with Anthony, so he's always over there. I'm always talking to him, so. It's pretty cool that I get to be able to talk to an NFL quarterback and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And what a cool story for him, you know, coming to K-State. and He had a great career, a lot of adversity that he fought through. And now, like you said, with the Miami Dolphins, how much fun is that to watch somebody from your hometown do that on a big stage? <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. I'm always over at my friend Anthony's house and uh, being able to watch the games with his family and stuff. It's, it's really cool. Okay. What do you think is the one thing that makes Skyler – you know, the player that he is and, and, and making it to the NFL? Uh, I don't, probably his ability to throw the ball, I feel like. And he's, like, really smart with his passes, too, so. Yeah, absolutely. Does that mean that you're a Kansas State fan or are you a Mizzou fan? <laughs> Who are you for? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of a K-State fan. Okay. All right. And that brings me to, you know, what's recruiting like for you? It's obviously still very early, but um, have some coaches reached out? You know, what's the relationships like there? And what are you kind of looking for as you start to get into that college recruiting scene? Yeah, there's a few colleges recruiting me. I think uh, South Dakota State, they just gave me an offer whenever I went to their camp. So I like them a lot. Um, I think Iowa, Iowa State, I went to a camp. They like me too. Um, K-State. Um, see who else and North Dakota State so yeah they all want me to come up to like game day visits and stuff so I'm excited mm -hmm, absolutely and but you like I said have so much time left still in high school and you know on a great team that's looking to make another deep run now that you're an upperclassman how do you plan to be a leader for this team and maybe take your guys a little bit further oh yeah so you know, we basically lost all of our seniors, so it's kind of, I have to kind of step up and be a leader to the team and uh, kind of help the younger guys out who have to fill big shoes. So, yeah. What do you like about your head coach, Brock Bolt? <laughs> um, he's a really serious guy, but sometimes he can be really funny. And, and Yeah. Besides football, River, tell us a little bit about you off the field. You know, what do you like to do in your free time? Do you have any hidden talents? Give us something that people might not know about you watching you on, on the football field. Yeah, I feel like I'm a really good fisherman. <laughs> hey, I like it. What is your biggest or best catch? Ooh, I probably caught a 15-pound catfish. That was probably my best. Okay, so. I like it. Do you fry it up or do you let it go? Oh, uh, yeah, we ate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. Lastly, River, you know, we talked about over 1,600 rushing yards, but also 480 receiving last year. You have that versatility and that ability to go out and, and you know, play multiple different positions for your team. Should we see some more of that this season? Oh, yeah, you'll see a lot more. I feel like I can really do it all. I feel like I can uh, catch it out of the backfield. I can run through the tackles. I can really, really do anything, I feel like, so. Okay. What would you rather do? Would you rather take the ball and, you know, run through contact or go out and showcase some speed? I don't know. I like them both. I, I don't really know if I like them more. Okay. Well, we're excited to see all that you can do for your Fort Osage team this fall. Good luck to you and all your teammates. Thanks again for joining us here with a little bit of an insight into the team and good luck. Have a great junior season. Thank you.